During the 2020 general elections, residents of Sancho Kofi, Akpafo, Lolobi and Likpe Sal were unable to partake in the electoral process by electing a member of parliament for the area. To this end, the Electoral Commission has presented a constitutional instrument before Parliament seeking to ensure that these residents of Sal are able to elect a member of Parliament with the creation of the Guan constituency in the upcoming general elections. Representation of the People Parliamentary Constituencies Amendment Instrument 2023. Honorable members, the Representation of the People Parliamentary Constituencies Amendment Instrument 2023 is referred to the Committee on Subsidiary Legislation for consideration and report to the House. This is the instrument that is likely to save this House and forgive us for the cardinal sin that we are said to have committed. It deals with the the issue of the sun. In his opening remarks, the minority leader, Dr. Casey Alato Forson, says the limited voter registration exercise conducted by the Electoral Commission, which was restricted to only eight district offices, has posed severe financial burden on members of parliament. But the majority leader, Oseiche Mensambonsu, says the exercise by the Electoral Commission was not exceptional from previous electoral processes. The financial burden that this decision created for honorable members cannot be overemphasized. Members of parliament came under intense pressure to help facilitate the registration of our constituents to enable them to exercise their constitutional rights in the upcoming district level election, Mr. Speaker, and future elections. Let it be restated that no limited registration in this country has happened in all the polling stations. Never once. Never once has we, have we witnessed that. So the impression should not be created. The impression should not be created that the Letter Commission departed from what ought to have been done or what has been happening always. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Ni Ayikwe Okain for City News.